Hello everyone, I'm Aryan, a PhD student from LIAX. Uh, I'm very excited to be there. And today I present a work uh, that has been done under supervision of uh, Susan Verben on effective legal information retrieval by using legal and neural retrieval with line former based summarization. So, um, okay. What is a case law? Actually, case law is a law based on previous judicial decisions rather than law based on constitutions, statutes, or regulations. So for having a better understanding on the uh, problem, let's have a real world example. Uh, let's consider we have an example, uh, we have an applicant with a problem that should be solved legally in court by hiring a lawyer. So the applicant goes to the lawyer and uh, explain the problem to the lawyer. And now the task for the lawyer is finding supporting previous cases to be able to defend the applicant well in the court. But uh, actually the challenges is that there are a lot of cases. So as you can see, there are about 500,000 cases in 2020 for United States District Court. So I hope that I could convince you that there is a need to have an effective legal information retrieval system to help lawyers in that kind of situations. And in a formal definition, case law retrieval is reading a new case queue and extracting supporting cases, we call them notice of cases in legal area, uh, for the decision uh, of queue from the entire uh, case law corpus. So there are two types of challenges, the human challenges. So uh, for the humans, the challenge is that there are a lot of cases, as I said, and for information retrieval system, the challenge is that the input is a line case document. Average length in the benchmarks is about 2,000 words in a set of uh, keyword queries in uh, web search. So that's a really different world with comparison with uh, web search. And also candidates content, content consists of broad topics here. So that's another difference with real world example. So, uh, here is an example of a legal document in uh, here. Ah, Kali. Uh, actually, Kali. Uh, how I should put the previous slide? Arrows. Okay. Kali is a competition on uh, legal information extraction and entailment. As you can see, uh, the text is raw, but we have an implicit structure in the text. The, uh, the, the case law, uh, almost in the all cases, but not all of them, uh, we have uh, in, on the head, on the, we have general information about the case law. Uh, so for example, you can see uh, the name of the attorneys, name of the judge, and the date of the case law. And we have, after that, a summary. Uh, you can see that for all of cases, we don't have summary. For example, for this example, uh, for this uh, document, this case is unedited, therefore contains no summary. Uh, so we don't have summary for our cases, but for part of them we have. And after that, we have paragraph with a specific uh, uh, rigor, with a specific format that we can extract them with uh, kind of rigorous expressions. So I wanted to just uh, explain to you how the document is organized to, uh, in next slide can uh, explain why we train fine-tuned uh, summarizer on these data sets. So here is the statistic on Kali data sets. As you can see on Kali 2018, the average length of the document is about 5,000. And we can see in the all of the benchmark, we have a very long document. So that's, uh, that's a very uh, main uh, problem, maybe a limitation in this data set and benchmarks. So, Here's an example, here's a story of the experiments that we have done during your research. Uh, I thought maybe it can make it more clear to you that why we did everything. In the first step, we thought, okay, we can start with experiments with lexic lexical rankers. And we tried BM25 and language model with uh, two different smoothing options. And after that, 
based on the literature, we thought let's make queries shorter. And we used for that at the first step term-based summarization. We saw that term-based summarization improved BM25. So uh, we, after that, thought about, okay, let's see how a uh, neural retrieval model can work. And we tried DRMM, which stands for uh, deep, learn, deep Relevance Matching Model, and BERT kind of models. So we saw BM25 at outperforms neural models. And after that, we thought about in the course itself, how about if we provide abstractive summaries for neural rankers? And we saw abstractive summarization improve neural rankers, but BM25 is still better. So uh, we thought about, okay, uh, now we see that BM25 is working very well. So how if we optimize parameters of BM25? I mean, BMK1. We saw optimizing BM25 parameters is very effective. After optimizing, you, you know, it, it, it got improved in F measure about 3%. So that was very effective uh, for our task. And we thought about, okay, if, how would the results be if we combine uh, BM25 with BERT using Ansible classifiers? So let's see the results in the next slides. For term-based summarization, well, we use cool back library divergence informativeness. We only consider Unigram as terms, and for each term in query document, we computed the KLI score. For the foreground language model, we calculated the probability of query term T uh, in the document D. And uh, for the background language model, we consider the background uh, collection uh, for, each, uh, for each query term uh, with the, the, all of the candidates for, the, for that query. So per query, we have 200 candidates in Kali 2020. And we consider them for the background collection when we wanted to compute KLI score. We also try to have abstractive summarization because based on the literature, summarization could improve uh, legal information retrieval, but there, there was a no word that try to uh, experiments with uh, line form and encoder decoder that are uh, the uh, new transform and life summarization models. We first uh, tried with uh, available pre-trained fine-tuned uh, archive LED, which has the input length of 16,000 tokens. And we also fine-tuned uh, line form and encoder decoder on Kali 2018 summaries because in Kali 2020, in, in, Kali, in, Kali, 2000, in Kali 2018, uh, more than 86% uh, of documents contain summary. So uh, we thought that it would be very helpful if we use that summaries for having, for fine tuning a summarizer and use that summarizer on Kali 2020 and also Kali 2021 to see how it works and how much it can be effective. So, we truncated the longer documents. And as I said, we use this structure for fine tuning our summarizer. We, uh, given the paragraphs to the model, the model should uh, uh, generate the summaries. So we give the paragraphs of the 2018 and we train the model to generate summaries uh, that are similar to the uh, Kali 2018 summaries. We also had a baseline for comparison our summarizer with the, uh, the summarizer that is implemented in the literature. Uh, in the literature, the general LP team uh, implemented a phrase a scoring model uh, that extracts n graph phrases to summarize the documents. And they could beat all of the models in Kali 2019. So they were the best team in the Kali 2019 with having uh, this feature. They have also other features. But the most important thing for them was the summarizer. So here is an overview of the our uh, models that we implemented. We tried BM25 language model, ARMM, Vanilla Bird, and Vanilla Legal Bird, which is uh, actually the uh, Bird that's uh, pre-trained on the legal documents. We also tried with Lineformer. We implemented the Lineformer with Paywall setting for ranking. We published the code, and yeah, the link of the GitHub implementation is on. At the last slide, 
Uh, we also try to combine lexical models with neural models using different ancestral models. So here is the part of the result table for lexical model. As you can see, with using uh, summarizers, we could improve the result uh, in comparison with the original text. No matter if we use KLI, archival ID, or fine tune ID. So we understood that we concluded that uh, summarizing can improve BM25, but as expected, term-based term summarization worked better because uh, actually uh, BM25 cannot uh, uh, cannot uh, consider the semantic matching. So if we have just keyword queries, the BM25 can be the most effective way. Yeah, as you can see, abstractly summary makes PM25 to, to achieve a high recall. But in, uh, in final evaluation for F measure, KLI was better in our experiments. We also tried to, to see how optimizing works. And after optimizing BM25 on the validation set, we saw that it can improve ZM25 with a large margin. As you can see, uh, the result of the F measure, we got the best result for BM25 with using KLI and optimizing BM25 on the validation set. And we found high values for B and K1. And based on the literature, we could conclude that because we have line documents, it makes sense to uh, achieve found uh, to, to found uh, and tune the model on the high values for the PNK one because uh, we have documents with the which consist broad topics and in that cases the BNK one tends to get a higher value. We also tried neural models and for the neural models we first worked with the DRMM which is a uh, well-known model for neural information retrieval. We used original text and also the KLI, but for original text, we must define an exact number for the count of the, count of the terms of the queries because uh, the input of the DRMM is a local interaction matrix and is limited and we should uh, select a consistent number. So we couldn't put all the text to the DRMM. We also tried the KLI for the DRMM, uh, and we show we showed that uh, using KLI can improve DRMM, but we couldn't uh, try the bold text, bold text because of the input, the type of the input of the DRMM. So, continuing neural models, we try to uh, work with the bear and see how it works in comparison with DRMM. Oh, as you can see, using abstractive summarization improves vanilla bears. Uh, we got the best results with the fine-tuned fine, the fine-tuned uh, LED on Kali 2018. On Kali 2018. We are, by, by the way, we saw that DRMM still works better than bears. So uh, that was a pity, but uh, actually for more details, we re-ranked the top 30 documents ranked by BM25 for re-ranking by Vanilla Bear. So uh, maybe uh, uh, designing Vanilla Bear for re-ranking uh, a small subset could have uh, another effect, but for these experiments, we re-ranked uh, top 30 documents because we wanted to have more chance to get a high precision. Because for the top 30, we had 95 recall percentage. Another interesting observation was that BERT base outperforms legal BERT. We was expecting uh, different things, but uh, finally we suppose that it can be related to the data that BERT base pre-trained on them because BERT base also trained on the books, news, and it's similar to the low language and both of them are in the formal language. We also try line format uh, because as I said, we have long text 
and we wanted to see how Langformer works because Langformer can receive about 4,000 tokens instead of just 512 tokens. But uh, Langformer could not outperform Vanilla Bird in our experiments. And we suppose that that relates to uh, longer input lengths and the small set of instances for training like format. So we find out that neural models could not improve, uh, could not improve and outperform PM25, but uh, we wanted to see how we can combine them to be able to consider lexical matching and semantic matching. And for that, we tried Ansible classifiers and we tried different set of features. We tried with the uh, features of using a DRMM and vanilla legal bird, line formant, combining them, but on the validation set, but we uh, got the best result with using the best BM25, which is the optimized BM25 that uses KLI as an input and vanilla bear that uh, receives the uh, fine-tuned summary as a query. So uh, we in, in, interpreted uh, the importance of vanilla bear features in the, in the ancillary classifiers. Based on the literature, we, uh, we, sh we, ob ob we took a look at the coefficient value for the SVM lane linear, and we saw that uh, the coefficient value for the vanilla bear feature is higher than uh, coefficient value for BM25. So we uh, could uh, conclude that vanilla bear is important for having a effective case low retrieval, at least on college 2020. So uh, as you see, we could also beat uh, the best method, the best model, which called cyber but uh, they don't report the precision and recall. So we could just compare our models with them uh, by F measure. So uh, we found out that uh, this method works well on Kali 2020. Then we wanted to see how it works in Kali 2021 because there is two different tasks in, uh, there is a different um, importance different in Kali 2020 and 21. For Kali 2020, we have 200 candidates per query. But for Kali 2021, the whole collection should be ranked per query. So we have 5,515 documents per query. So the task gets higher, in Kali, it gets harder in Kali 2021. We implemented BM25, we use KLI, we optimize the M25 and we got relative uh, results and we with using KLI, the BM25 works better after optimizing the M25. It could even uh, beat the state of the art, the first thing in college 2021. Uh, I should say that they are also a lexical approach. They use a language model, but with special pre-processing, they just keep it there paragraphs that cite another paragraph and they also consider that the date of the query and the date of the document so the, the document cannot be published before the uh, after okay before the query yeah because uh, uh the document cannot publish after the query yeah because the, the document cannot be from the future they have also that uh, that uh, condition in their implementation so we also tried with Vanilla Bird. We re-ranked top 1,000 documents ranked by BM25 using Vanilla Bird, but we got very poor results. Uh, we think because it's related to the uh, our subset for re-ranking because in 2020, we ranked top 30 documents, but here we ranked top 1,000 documents. So uh, we concluded that Ansible learning could not work effectively in collection retrieval. So that would be a way for future work also. So about the unexpected results, as I said, line format does not outperform vanilla bear tanker. And 
we think maybe further pre-trained line former on legal text can help line former on convert on the data, but it needs 32 gigabyte GPU with 32 gigabyte RAM. So at least at this moment, we cannot pre-train line former because we don't have that GPU. And uh, we saw that uh, DRMM could not beat BM25, uh, but this is almost common in some previous work. So uh, BM25 is still a strong baseline. Uh, we saw that vanilla legal bed does not outperform bed, as I said, the reason. So we can conclude that lexical rankings are very strong baseline on legal domain. And we find out optimizing them is very important because normally in the literature, we just use them with default parameters. And we also understood that fine tuning summarizer can improve summarizing and also neural rankers. And we saw the impact of combination of the lexical and neural uh, models in legal domain. And the, for the future work, uh, we are thinking about fine tuning BERT or maybe dense translation as well in a structure base because we have an implicit structure in the Kali data set. And we think about combining passage retrieval models with document level models because uh, they have also some. Uh, various trying baselines and in passages as well, but actually they are very computationally expensive. So that would be a challenge for us to combine them. And another work that recently published is Kike LTX. They try to recognize the important sentences and passages. And we thought maybe uh, considering this publication also can be helpful for having more, uh, having better summarize, summarize, summaries and uh, we also think we should work on neural models for legal case retrieval on ranking instead of re-ranking because in college 2021, we have 4,414 candidates per query. So thank you for your attention. Here is a LinkedIn topic. You can uh, use that vanilla line format and maybe improve that. And I will be happy to hear your question. Thank you very much. Any questions from floor or from online? Can I ask you just one clarification? Yeah. Because I'm, maybe I'm not used to uh, this in the tables of the evaluation. So you have precision and recall at top 30, right? Yeah, exactly. For the Re neural models. Yes. OK, so in that case, the recall is, is computed based on the number of relevant documents for that case, right? Yeah, and okay. the recall is 95 for the college 2020. Okay, so but just to, to be sure, so suppose that I build the perfect system. So exactly. for the top 30, I put all the relevant documents, so, so I have precision 100? No, you can have 95% precision because you don't have all the relevant documents. In the top 30 documents, okay. the recall is 95. So your precision can be the best way, 95. Out of 30? Uh, okay, I have to think about it. <laughs> okay, that's why I was a little bit uh, uh, puzzled yeah, by this. We selected, uh, yeah, we selected uh, the, uh, the, the, the count of documents for re-ranking based on the recall because we wanted to give a chance to the neural model mm -hmm. to give a per perfect uh, precision. Yeah, because if the recall was a slow, was a small, so in that case, the neural models also couldn't achieve a high precision. Because they didn't have any relevant documents for re-ranking them on top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. Any any questions? Okay. So thank you very much, Ian. And then